Nonito Donner versus Nordin Obali. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who doesn't know, this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds for Obali's WBC Bantamweight title. Obali will be defending it in this fight against Nonito Donner over in California to be shown live on Showtime. So tune to Showtime this May 29 in order to see this fight. I think we all know who Nonito Donner is at this point. To those who still don't know who he is, <laughs> for some whatever reason, you still don't know who he is. He is from the Philippines, my home country. 40 and 6 now. 26 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. Has been a professional since 2001. 20 years now in the sport of boxing as a professional. Insane. Turned pro back in February 2020, 20, 2001. So yeah, it's been more than 20 years now since he turned pro. Jeez. And uh, since then, he's accomplished a Hall of Fame career. One of the greatest of all times from my home country, the Philippines. Now here he is. Still trying to become a world champion against Nordino Bali. Come of a spectacular fight against Inoue. Yes, he lost that fight, it was, but still, it was a spectacular fight. If you haven't seen that fight, holy cow. This fight with Obali was supposed to happen a while back, but because of COVID, it never did. And now here they are, just weeks away, we're, we're days away from this fight. And it should be a good one. His opponent, Nordino Obali, much younger. 17 and 0, 12 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. He too hasn't fought since November 2019 against another Inoue, Takuma Inoue, where he defeated him to, be, to defend his title, WBC title. So both fighters are coming off against the Inoue brothers with Nonito Denaire obviously losing. It was actually the same card, same event over in Japan. Uh, and, you know, Bali won that fight against uh, Takuma Inoue, giving Inoue his first loss. Now here he is to defend his WBC title against the Hall of Famer, Nonito Donaire. And when it comes to all about who will win this fight, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little biased. Well, I'm not just a little biased, I'm super biased. Because obviously me being Filipino, I want Nonito Donaire to win. I hope he wins. And I think he can win this fight. I think he can and it all depends on Nordino Bali. If Nordino Bali comes into this fight, boxing, moving around... And moving around the whole entire fight, hit and run, hit and run, he'll probably win this fight by unanimous decision. But if he decides to get careless and decides to go in there and exchange with the much stronger, taller, lengthier fighter in Nonito Donair, Nonito will be able to catch him with a good one. Actually, I think Nonito Donair might be able to figure him out and catch him with a, with a good punch in the later rounds, the second half of this fight. But like I said, it all depends on, on Nordino Bali. It, it depends if he ends up being careless or not. Um, but Ring Ross will definitely come into play in this fight for both guys. They haven't fought in more than a year. So it depends on who also pre comes in way, way prepared. And like I said, I'm, I'm a bias with this one because I'm Filipino. Obviously, I want Nonito Donaire to win. And, uh, you know, and from what I've seen of him, he's been keeping in shape. And um, you know, I think he'll go out there and and become world champion again. I think he will. I honestly, I, I believe he will. My gut feeling is telling me that Nonito Denaire got this. Nordino Bali may be younger, has taken less punishment, has a, a very, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say complicated style because he, he's, I mean, I think his style can be figured out by, by Nordino Denaire, but, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, I'll say this, Nordino Bali is underrated. I feel like he is. I feel like a lot of people don't give him too much credit for the fights and wins that he's gotten. But I think Nonito Denaire still tops him. I don't know. Maybe it's the biased stalking in me. Maybe maybe that's what's uh making me think that Nordino Bali is gonna lose his fight. I don't know. But I'll be tuning in. I'll definitely be watching May 29. Tune in on showtime. You don't want to miss it. It's gonna be a great night of boxing. And, uh, and yeah, let's go, let's go for the pin of flash. You got this, man. You got this. 
I, I, I think he'll catch a volley. I think he will. I, I honestly believe he will. If he goes a distance, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this real. If he goes a distance, the likelihood of volley winning is pretty. It's a lot higher if he goes a distance. But if he ends up by TKO or knockout, it will be no need to the nair. And I think he will catch Obali eventually. Somewhere in the middle rounds. TKO knockout round six, seven, eight. No need to the nair. Crowning being crowned the new champion. In my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always have a great day. Alright, thanks.